Hello everyone, today is day 19 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and the problem that I have taken today is inspired from one of the problems that I found on Strata Scratch. Now as you can see this is the problem statement. We have been given a table which is basically having some information about the different orders of a pizza delivery shop. The statement reads, given table showcases the details of pizza delivery order for the year 2023. If an order is delayed, then the whole order is given for free. Any order that takes more than 30 minutes than the expected time is considered to be a delayed order. Identify the percentage of delayed order for each month and also display the total number of free pizzas given each month. This is basically the input we have. We have the order ID, we have the order time when the order was made, we have the expected delivery okay, of this order and then we have the actual delivery. And then in each order, how many pizzas were ordered and the price of that particular order. Now, in total, we have around 1000 records here. Okay, so there are information about 1000 different orders. Okay, now if I just go back to the top, okay, and then you can see there in the expected output, I have one record for each month. Okay, and all of this data is for the year 2023. So, what this basically tells is in the month of Jan 2023, there were totally out of all the different orders that were present, 7.7% of the orders were delayed. Okay. And in that delayed orders, totally 23 free pizzas were given. Okay. And the same thing we need to find for every other month of this particular year. Okay. Of this whole data. So this is basically the problem statement. And this is what we need to do. Now you will find the problem statement, the data set and the solution everything in my blog you can download it and try to solve it yourself and i will be solving it using the postgresql database now you can see that i have already created the table the name is pizza delivery now as always first let us think of a logic how we can solve it okay now i have the order i have the time and i have the expected delivery all the different calculations that i need to do for my expected output is dependent on the delayed deliveries so first of all from this data set i need to find which orders were delivered late, right? So out of these thousand orders, I need to find that. Now, how can I find that? I basically need to use this formula that is given. So they have told if any order takes more than 30 minutes to deliver, then that is considered as delayed order. So here in this column, I have the actual delivery. So if I could subtract the actual delivery with the order time, and if it is more than 30 minutes, then those are the delayed deliveries, right? So I can just do that in PostgreSQL. So what I'll do is I'll just tell um, that is my actual delivery minus order time. Okay, so let me just keep as it is. And if I run this, now you can see that I'm getting a field, which is an interval field. It's basically telling 30 minutes here. Okay, because by default, I think everything is expected to deliver within 30 minutes. But there might be some orders which are uh, so, okay, there are some orders which are not delivered, so probably undelivered orders. And then there are some orders which have taken 35 minutes here. Okay, and similarly, if I look forward, you can see there are some orders which have taken 40 minutes. So these are all the delayed orders, right? Now, if I have to just fetch the minutes from this particular field, I can just use the function to care. Okay, I'm, I'm using PostgreSQL. If you're using some other database, you might have to look for some other uh, inbuilt functions. Okay. Now I'll just fetch from to care the minute. So that is M I. And yeah, if I just run this, now you can see that I'm getting this difference in the form of uh, minutes. Okay. So it's telling 30 minutes. So somewhere it is 35 minutes and I think somewhere it's 40 minutes, etc. Now using this, I can easily flag which particular order were delayed, right? But I also want to count the total number of delayed orders for each month. Right. So what I'll do is instead of having this value of minutes, I'll just put a something like one. OK, so if it is a delayed order, then I'll put like the flag like one. And if it is not a delayed order, then I'll keep the flag as zero. OK, so I'll do that by using the case statement. So case when this whole thing, if it is greater than 30 minutes. OK, and I think this is a text and this is an integer. So generally I want to compare it, it with an integer. So I'll just tell cast of this whole thing as integer. I'll convert it into an integer and then I'll compare it with 30. If it is greater than 30, then I want to say one. OK, just a flag. Else I'll say zero end. And this is going to be, let's say, my delayed 
apply. If I run this, now you can see that wherever it is 0, I know those orders were delivered on time. Wherever it is 1, these are the delayed orders. Now, within the delayed order, I, okay, now I want to count how many delayed orders have happened each month, right? So that means here I have the order time. I need to now transform that into, let's say, a particular format, okay? And that format is month and year, right? So what I'll do is, I'll just fetch the field that I need. That is, I can just tell to care of order time and I want to fetch it in the format month and year, right? So I think that's all. And this whole thing, I'll just call it like period and I'll keep everything else as it is, okay? In fact, I'm just fetching these two fields. Now you can see that I'm getting the format that I want, okay? I'm just fetching the month and the year. Now, if I just group the data based on this month and year, I, because I know that in a year there are only 12 months, so I'll only get 12 records because all the data is for 2023. And then if I just do a sum of this uh, delayed flag, I'll be able to get the total number of uh, delayed orders, okay? But my intention is not to just get delayed, the total number of delayed orders, but I want to get the percentage of delayed orders. So that means in order to get the percentage, I need to first get the total number of delayed orders, divide it by the total number of orders in that month, right? And multiply by 100 to get the percentage, okay? So that is what I need to do. And then how am I going to fetch the free pizzas? I'll see about that later, okay? Now, so this is basically, now if I just do a sum here, okay? So I'll do a sum of this whole case. And then if I just do a group by... Let's say this whole value, that is this whole period, okay? If I just run this, now you can see that I'm only getting 12 records and here I'm getting the total number of delayed orders for each month, okay? So I have got this, but I want the percentage. In order to get the percentage, that means I also want to get the total number of orders. To get the total number of orders, I can just do a count of one and this will tell me the total orders for each month. So for July 2023, there are totally 73 orders, but eight of them were delayed. Right. So if I want to get the percentage, I can just take the whole sum of this and then I can just do a divide by this count of one. OK. And I'm just going to keep this query as short as possible. OK. So that I'm not going to create any sub queries or something. I'll show you how to do all of this just using one query. So I'll take the whole delayed orders, divide it by the total number of orders each month. OK. And then let's say if I just run this okay, and I'll remove this and if I run this, I'll get zero. The reason is this is an integer and I think this is an integer. So I should either convert any one of them to a decimal point so that this division is going to give me the proper values. Okay. So I'll do one thing. I'll just tell cast of this whole thing as decimal. Okay. And then divide it by the total number of orders. Now you can see that I'm getting the proper value. Okay, and now I want to multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. So I'll say this whole um, thing into 100. Okay, and this should give me the percentage value. But then there are too many decimal points. So I'll just round them off to one decimal point. So I'll say one. Now if I run this, okay, now you can see that I can see for July it's 11%, for August it is 9% and so on and so forth. Right, so I've almost got the percentage of delayed orders for each month. But I also need the number of free pieces given, right? So for that, what I'll do is, first of all, okay, this delayed flag. And to get the free pieces, I'll again use the same case statement, okay, that I had here. I want to know which order was delayed and which is not. So wherever the delivery time is greater than 30 minutes, that means it is delayed order. So that means for in a delayed order, all the pizzas are given for free. So whatever number of pizza was ordered in that uh, in that particular order, everything is given for free, right? If it is not a delayed order, then there are no free pizzas. So it will be zero. And this whole thing, I'll just call it like free pizzas, okay? Now, if I run this, I'm getting an error. And I think it is because it's number of pizzas, no? So it is number of, Okay, it's it's because it's it's basically because I have already done the group by this particular period, but then I cannot use all of these fields outside in my select clause, right? Now I can fix this just by putting a sum because for each order I will 
this basically if I just had used this case for each order I would come to know which particular order was delayed and which was not delayed wherever it was delayed I would take the total number of pizzas as the free pizza right so for I will get every record every record with delayed uh, order I'll get this number of pizzas there but I want the total number of pizzas for each month so I can just do a whole sum here okay and now if I run this now you can see that for July 2023 I'm getting 26 free pizzas and the same thing for all the other months Okay, so this is fine. But now if I just compare this result with my output that I have got here, let's say for Jan, it is 7.7 .7 and 23 free pizzas. And here, let's say for Jan, it is 7.2 and 23 pizzas. So this number, what I'm getting here is actually not accurate. The reason for that is if you look at the data set, there are some of the orders where the delivery did not happen right so if there was no delivery happened i should basically not consider it to find this percentage right so what i can do is i can just put a filter condition saying that where mm, that is actual delivery is not null now if i run this let's say for jan i'm getting 7.7 .7, that is exactly what i wanted okay now the last thing that i need to do is i need to sort the data based on each month okay now this is also one requirement okay probably should have been mentioned here in the problem statement probably i forgot that but you also need to return the data sorted based on each month okay now how i can do that is i can just tell order by this whole month okay and if i just run this it's still not sorting in proper order it's sorting based on alphabetical order right so how can i fix that is i can just from this date okay it's a date format right i can extract the month in numeric format i can do that by using the form function extract month from this whole thing okay but the thing is extract function will expect this to be a date but here it is a character if i run it's going to throw me an error so i need to convert this into a date so i'll say to date okay and then i'll just tell the date format and the format will be the same thing okay and i'll just mention that now if i run this now you can see that i have the data sorted from jan to december then i have the percentage okay and then i have the free pizzas given for each month okay and if you compare it is 7.7 7.8 7.9 .7, and it will be fine. So last one is 15.2. It is 15.2. Okay. So this is basically the solution to this particular problem. I just wanted to do everything in one query. So that is why I have not used any sub queries. So you can see there are multiple different functions, case statements, uh, and then some calculations happening all together. But I hope you understand what is going on here. Now, let's say you are using some other database, then probably your 2K is not going to work. Probably if you're using Oracle, all of this would work, but except except for extract maybe. But if you're using, let's say SQL Server or MySQL, then you will need to find an alternative to uh, using this 2K or this extract and everything, okay? You can easily go to Google and just search the alternative to 2K or how do you fetch month and year from a uh, date time uh, data type okay and you will be able to get the solution if you're still not able to get a solution in your database let me know in the comments below and i'll try to share the solution for that database okay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with another interesting query bye